What's good, A1 gang? I'm doing this video to inform anybody who's thinking of getting started into YouTube or anybody who's recently got started. When you first get started, sometimes you may put up a video that might get flagged for copyright. Don't be like me and assume that just because the video is flagged and it gets monetized by a copyright holder that you can't dispute it or you'll automatically get a copyright strike. See, me, I was afraid to dispute anything because I didn't want, like, as you see, you want to get three copyright strikes. And I didn't want to do that, so I'm just like, okay, anybody that claims my content, I'm going to just let them have it. I recently just disputed one, and I actually won, and this just made me think about all the other videos that I have that are claimed by other people that I could have been monetizing myself. So I'm just letting y'all know, don't, don't do like I did. If somebody is claiming your video, dispute it. I'm going to show y'all how to do it right now. Okay, we are here inside my video analytics, and right here, this video, there's a copyright claim on it, and it says it's monetized by copyright owner or something like that. If you look down, you can see I got another video right here that I'm in the process of disputing now. I'm going to show you all quickly what to do if somebody's trying to claim your content. Click view copyright claim details. It's going to show you a summary. So right here, you click this that says select action. What they're saying about this right now is the video isn't blocked. It's still public. However, I'm not able to monetize it. But what you would do is just click this view. So what it says here is it's the name of the song. And it says, I believe this copy right now is giving you a couple options to choose why you want to dispute it. So I believe this copyright claim is not valid because I own the CD, DVD, or bought the song online. I'm not selling the video or making any money from it. I gave credit in the video. The video is my original content and I own all of the rights to it. I have a license or permission from the proper rights holder to use the material. My use of the content meets the legal requirements for fair use or fair dealing under applicable copyright laws. The content is in public, is in the public domain or is not eligible for copyright protection. Now, this is the one you always want to choose right here. My use of the content meets the legal requirements for fair use or fair dealing under applicable copyright laws. So once you click that, click continue. So it's saying right here, I believe this copyright claim is not valid because my use is within fair use. So they just asking you again, are you sure that you want to dispute the claim? You click continue because you are sure. I'm telling you, all don't let them take y'all money. No more. I'm going to show you all exactly the same copy, everything I use. So what I did now, I, watched, I learned this from another video, but what I did was I went to the copyright.gov and I took the main, once you go right to their website, they have something there about fair use. Just copy that paragraph, paste it into this box right here, and then add a little bit to it on why you feel that what you're doing is fair use, and then they'll release it, or they should release it. Don't quote me on that, but I'm going to show you all right now what I use. So this is what I copied from the fair use website. So fair use is legal is a legal doctrine that promotes freedom of expression by permitting the unlicensed use of copyright protected works in certain circumstances, blah, 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 all that. So make sure you copy this paragraph right here all the way to that. That may qualify as fair use. And then make sure you put the quote from the copyright.gov US copyright. So that way they know where it's coming from. And then this is something that I just added to the end of mine right here. On top of that, it's just some just random to type up. Hi, please remove the copyright claim for my content. My use falls within fair use as I'm using the video to commentate on it and provide my opinion. I am also using the video as research to learn more about the culture through music. I have due diligently edited out a lot of the songs so I'm not including too much copyrighted material. If someone is able to quickly review my claim and remove the copyright, it would be greatly appreciated. I have good faith. This was done in error on your part and understand the mistake you have made. However, please remove the claim against my video so I can continue with my research into the culture. Thanks again. So that's just something, you know, you just want to type up something that, you know, is mentioned inside of the fair use and that aligns with what you're doing so what i'm saying is i'm learning about the culture through music which is true so just word it right copy paste this whole thing so i'm gonna show you right now i'm gonna copy this and then we're gonna paste it directly into this box right here see it's pasted in there boom 
Now you just hit this, check that box, check this box, type your name, hold on. Okay, so after you do that, you'll click confirm, continue, whichever one it says, and then it'll take you to this page. And right at this page, you can scroll down and it'll ask you, are you sure? But it'll have your real, all your information down there in the bottom. That's why I haven't scrolled down. So click OK, and then I'm going to get right back. So then it'll ask you, are you sure you want to dispute the claim? And then you just click OK, and then that's it. OK, so after that, you'll get an email to com that's confirming that your dispute has been submitted. It'll just look like this, just letting you know everything. And then they should be getting back to you in a couple of days. And then I want to show y'all quickly the email, what it'll look like once they release it. So here's an example of a copyright claim that has been released from a company. So as you can see, if I wouldn't have disputed this, they would have just been taking the money from the video, even though it's not a lot of money, but it's still just the point. It's a lot of hard work I put into it, but they would have been taking this money. And it's a lot of videos that I have on my channel that I didn't dispute just out of fear of the fact, not trying to get a copyright strike or just not knowing how all this works. So that's the reason why I'm making this video. And I also haven't seen a video like this in depth on the topic. So here it is. This is showing y'all exactly what to do. If you got any questions, drop them in the comment section. Let me know. Okay, that's all we got for now. Let me know if this video was helpful. If you got some more tips on this topic, drop them in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We out.